Green Geeker here. I'm going to walk you through how to lock down the PD timing belt. Uh, I'm going to pay specific attention to how to use the pin feature on the PD and common rail uh, timing belt tensioners. Swings the uh, tensioner out of the way and gets enough slack into the belt such that you don't have to remove the uh, any rollers. So I have the engine sitting just before top dead center. I got my 12 point uh, 19 millimeter on the crank and I rotate it over very very slowly and kind of wiggle my pin and it should just slide in place once that hole lines up. There we go. So now cam is locked down at top dead center and what I'm going to do is I am going to slide in my crank lock down and I don't actually install this because usually what you'll find is that these Mama don't exactly line up and I'm going to uh, I have a, my my arrow indicator here and my line indicator on the crank sprocket and make sure that it's seated nicely into the teeth and again like I said I'm just gonna slide it in place and it doesn't usually just pop in so you could just leave it there for now I'm gonna loosen up my timing belt tensioner 15 millimeter and you'll watch it just spring out of the way but not all the way and you'll notice that when I do this you just help it the indicator is well past onto the left and if I keep going it's not going to go anywhere it's just going to keep moving perpendicular to the belt sorry parallel to the belt now I kept rotating you notice that I, I kept rotating counterclockwise and now I have this little pin slot available to insert my small little pin tool into now I'm going to grab my keep using my tensioner I'm going to rotate it clockwise now when you watch my indicator is going to swing past and show fully you're going to go all the way to the stop you can feel a very positive stop now all I have to do is just snug down my 15 millimeter again and then now my my timing belt tensioner is swung all the way out of the way I'm going to take and loosen these three 13 millimeters uh, on the on the cam sprocket Once I've done that, all I have to do is I've got to grab this back side and I'm going to rotate that uh, cam sprocket all the way until the bolts are in its slots. And you'll see that I'm creating all the slack on the water pump side. And all I have to do is just slip it right off the belt, off of the sprocket like that, and off comes the belt. <coughs> the belt out of the way. <coughs> I loosen my 15 millimeter and the tensioner just comes off and leave the pin in place. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna go back with my 19 millimeter 12 point and I'm going to insert, you can see that that did not insert, so I'm gonna just rotate it ever so slightly and it slides in place. Now we have the cam and we have the crank locked down at top of the center. We're ready to pull the water pump and put the new belt on.